The problem we have today states that an engine on an airplane fails mid-flight. The pilot tries to compensate using the hot rudder at the back of the tail, find the equivalent force coupled system about point G, which is center of mass on the plane. We can start this problem by, by tackling some of forces in the X direction and some of forces in the Y direction. So we can write sum of forces in the X direction equals, there's only one force of eight kilonewtons. So we have eight kilonewtons. For the direction Y, there's three 50 kilonewton forces in the upwards positive Y direction. So if you add 50 plus 50 plus 50, it's 150. So sum of forces in the Y direction equal 150 kilonewton. Next, we have to find the sum of moments from po at point G, which is center of mass. And we can start doing the X direction force. It's in a counterclockwise direction. So we can write, it's, it's going to be positive. So 8 times 35, which is the length. Next, we can do the same for this 50 kN forces. And uh, it's at a 20 meter distance, and it's also counterclockwise. So plus 50 times 20. Next, these two 50 kN forces are in a clockwise direction, so they'll be negative, And it's going to be minus 50 times this first 12 minus 50 times this 12 plus 8 which is 20 and it's going to come out to be equal to minus 3 3 20 3 minus 320 kilo newton meter next we can find what direction, what angle the plane is going to rotate in and with what force. So we use Fx and Fy to find the... So this x direction is 8 and this y direction is 150. To find this, we can use uh, Pythagorean theorem and it's going to be square root of 8 square plus 150 square which is equal to 150.21 and we can also find the angle it's going to tilt in and we can do that by going tan inverse or octan 8 by 150 and that's equal to 3.05 degrees. So the overall plane is going to look like this with a 150.21 kilonewton force at an angle of 3.05. The overall moment is clockwise uh, with a 320 kilonewton meter moment.